Sometimes I feel like a star, but only strictly where I'm famous. I'm in this for the longest haul, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo. Oh, hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Live with Colby Rebel. It is our date night. That means I'm going to take your calls and answer your questions. So if you have a question or want some uh, advice or insight, give me a call, 323-992-3115. 323-992-3115. And... Um, Oh, no. Actually, can we move the monitor over? Sorry. Sorry, because I can't see if you're, I can't pick a line if I don't see the monitor. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, I hope you're excited. Uh, if anyone's been tuning in to the Coffee with Colby this week, it's been a really amazing journey with spirit this week. It, it is kind of like a vortex of spirit. Unbelievable day after day. And, and so I was sharing that on Coffee with Colby this week. So if you get a chance, go back and, and watch it um, because each day kind of builds on the other. And, and again, just the absolute love and support from, from all of you out there. It's, it's uh, really touching. You know, I do this and, and I give and spirit gives and to see it reciprocated in such a loving and beautiful way has, has really touched my heart. So thank you guys so much. And as you know, you know, callers are chosen at random. I, I know you all want to get in and, and want that free reading and I'm going to do the best I can to get as many as I can in the time that we have together. But again, I, I do it at random. I do think that that's the most fair way to do it. So, but I'm really looking forward to the show tonight, really looking forward to taking your calls. And um, I do wanna uh, just share, you know, if you're in the Orange County, Orange County in California, I have an event coming up. It's next Friday. It's almost here already. I can't believe it. And it is Awakenings, uh, it's Vision and Dreams. It's a beautiful, beautiful remodeled space in uh, Costa Mesa. And I'm going to be there Friday night, February 9th. So if you're in the Orange County area or within a 50-mile radius per Facebook ad, I want you to come out and join me for an evening of messages. Really, really looking forward to it. And then... Guess what, you guys? A couple weeks away, I'm heading to Florida again. Florida is my third home. Uh, obviously, Jersey's my second, LA the first. <laughs> But I'm going to be at the venue. It's a theater in Orlando for an evening of messages there. And very, very excited. And that is February 24th. So that's a Saturday night in Orlando. And, you know, the way Florida works, if you're within two hours, you're supposed to come. That's just how it works in Florida. <laughs> So you have to come out and join me. The next night, Sunday, I am going to be with two of my really, really good friends, amazing, amazing healers, Lindsay Marino. She is in Tampa. She's a medium, and she and I are going to do messages. And our other friend, Mark David, is a sound healer. So we're going to have sound healing with messages. So that's in St. Petersburg, and we're really excited. And I'm going to have those two on the show next week. So we're, we're going to have a blast. Uh, we have a lot to look forward to in the next few weeks here on the show. I have a lot of surprises coming your way. Um, but again, the event's coming up. I'm, I'm very, very excited for. And just to kind of, um, I know this is a little farther up, but I am coming back to Jersey. I'm going to do Dinner with Spirit. This is really great. If you're looking for that Valentine's gift or a Mother's Day present, it's a wonderful opportunity. We're going to have a three-course dinner. It's going to be an uh, evening of messages at a wonderful venue called Adelphia. It's, it's got all these crystals, a ballroom, and a bar. <laughs> So, I mean, even if you don't come for me, come for the bar. Um, no, we're going to have a really good time. So if, if you, you know, want, looking for that gift for that someone special, grab your tickets while we have them. And then last but not least, I am going to uh, tell you, again, this is going to be an in-person class, but I'm going to do intro to intuition. Here's what I think. Um, 
there's a lot of people who wonder if they have a gift or they feel like they got a little something or they get these messages and they're not really sure what to do with them or um, they'll get like a feeling about something. So I always like to hold this intro class every once in a while. It's really for the beginner. You bring a friend, you can bring a, a family member and we do really fun exercises. You may feel a little scared because, you you know, you're actually putting something out there for the first time. But it is so much fun. And you get a chance to explore your gifts and tune into your own intuition. And it's people have a great, great time every time I do it. So I thought I've been at they've been asking to do it. So that's going to be March 4th. So and uh, I'm going to get into the calls uh, real quick. I am going to, uh, because I have to, give a shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles. Woohoo! And thank you. And uh, we're, we are going to, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use all the spidey sense I have to put forward some energy for <laughs> them to win. I had this idea 27-13. It popped in my head today and I was like, can that even be a score? How can that be a score? And it actually can. And then I was like, but can the Eagles really win by that much? Or can it be that low by the Patriots? So I don't know. <laughs> but I am, my fingers are crossed. And um, I'll tell you what, here's the thing. Here's, here's the lesson in, in just the Eagles even getting to this Super Bowl. When Wentz, the quarterback, went out a few weeks ago, people thought they were done. People thought there was no shot, no chance for the Eagles even to win the next game. They really lost faith, and we had to dig deep and rally back. And those Eagles have won, like, the last four games to get them to this Super Bowl. Four games, and they were close, and they were down half these games, and they rallied back. They never gave up. And just in your life, when you feel that there is no chance, when you've got nothing left, when there is no hope, you got to dig deeper. You got to have that belief because I got to tell you, sometimes miracles really do happen and they can only happen if you have hope. They can only happen if you believe in them. So I, I just feel like this is such a great story. They're going to make a movie about it. <laughs> All right, listen, I, I'll tell you what, I, I'm so excited. Um, I'm sure I'll chit chat a bit more, but, but I want to take some callers. I mean, there, there's, we got a good amount in here and, and I'm just too, too excited to, to not do it. So how about number 10? Is that 604? I can't read that. Number 10. Okay, there we go. Uh, so if you get through, do me a favor, turn off uh, all the extra noises, no speaker phone, kind of, here's that phone, I want you to get up real close and personal to it, okay, no earpiece, no speaker phone, no TV, you can watch it after the show. All right, 604, you are on with Colby, who is this? Hi there, it's Lori. Hi, Lori, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. What can I help you with tonight? Well, anything that comes up, but I'd like to know about my health, please. Okay, great. All right, so here's the thing. I'm going to start, uh, Lori, I'm going to tell you I'm not a doctor and I can't diagnose, okay? And and the other thing is very right. important. I do not want to create fear in tuning in, but I'm going to tune in, give you things that I'm getting, um, and just share it for, for your own uh, guidance. Sound good to you? Thank you. Yeah. I am... I am going to be honest. I am feeling that there are some health things going on. I feel like um, either you've either been seeing a doctor and they're trying to narrow it down or, or you need to kind of get to that blood work because I'm feeling like it's in the blood work that we're going to get the answers to what's going on, okay? But I'm also feeling yeah. like you've been feeling symptoms even throughout the body, so not just one area. I actually feel like they're going even maybe more on one side than the other. Is that right, Lori? Yes, very okay. right. Yes. Are you, is there something? Uh, no, no fear here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. No fear here. Thank you. I, it I, is my liver. I, yes. I, I, okay, thank you. Because I kept, is that on the left side? Anybody know? Do you know if that's on the left side? I, I'm just kind of. Oh. Both. It's on oh. the right side. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just asking only because I, w I wanted to know if I was getting a mirror because I was feeling my left, but sometimes that's a mirror for the client, right? Like there, it's a mirror as if you're in front of me. So that's why I wanted to ask, kind of just asking for our own self. I am definitely feeling down one side. I am definitely feeling um, 
they got to look at uh, the white blood cells uh, and the enzymes. I'm not even a doctor. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I, I do. Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> but I, I feel like, um, I, I do feel like there's a level of uh, treatment that will be available that you're going to need to pursue and take. But I feel optimistic about this. So I feel like once they kind of, um, once they're able to kind of do Please, the, can I interrupt? Yeah, please. I am on treatment. Okay. And I'm just ending. Okay. I, I do feel like, uh, I do feel like there's going to be another treatment. Okay. It doesn't feel as severe as this first round or this first series. Um, but it does feel like there's something follow up. It feels like the doctor is like, no, we're going to, we're going to kind of kick this. We're going to do more. Um, but I do, okay. I feel like if, I know you're tired of it and I know you're just like, no more, I can't do this. But honestly, Lori, I really feel like um, if they're telling you, if they kind of guide you to do that second round, it actually feels like even though it kind of slows you down for another four to six weeks, it feels like it actually ends up helping in the long run, okay? Okay, beautiful. But I'll tell you what, you are stronger than you thought when you first started, that's for sure, because I can <laughs> feel in the beginning you didn't know where it was going to come from, and, and look at you now. I mean, you've been rallying yeah. through this, and you were powering through it, and I just feel like, um, I, I don't know, I'm feeling optimistic for you, so I want you to keep kind of moving forward, and it feels like you've got a really good team with you, you've got a really good team of uh got doctors that are kind of really being aggressive and that feels that that feels good okay okay thank all right you, so much. you are so welcome and and love and healing and blessings to you okay and love to you too thank you so much thank you laurie have a good night you too bye-bye bye-bye uh um all right let us go to number uh seven is that two zero seven okay so here we go. I, I feel like I know you're tired of it, and I know you're just like, no more, I can't do this. But honestly, Lori, I, I love hearing myself. Who is this? Kathy Martin. Hi, <laughs> Kathy Martin. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. Well, I'm glad to hear you listening to me. What can I answer for you tonight? I'm sorry, I was a bit confused because I'm watching you live. It might be slowed down. Yes, yes, that's okay. Well, but, you're hearing me so, now, right? So do you have a question yeah. for me that I can answer for you? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, let's do it. Just anything you see. Because oh. I was doing opposite what I was told I should do. So I want to know if you see anything. Uh-oh, you've been a bad girl, Kathy. Absolutely involved oh. in the politics larger oh. than ever in life. Are so. you the one I called a couple weeks ago about going to the meeting for the politics and I told you to be nice? Were you not nice, Kathy? Were you <laughs> vocal like I told you not to no. be? <laughs> it was my mother. Yeah, it probably should be. Oh. That probably did happen. Uh oh. But uh, my mother had come out and she basically wanted me to back down this stuff for fear that it was going to make me ill. Yes. Yes. And it's just in me. Okay. So it is what it is. And then an opportunity came up and I'm in the middle, <laughs> but no worries. No worries. Whatever you see, I'll take. Well, I'll, I will tell you this. I think at the end of the day, if you are passionate about what you're doing, you got to follow the passion. It's not easy to quell our passion. And I think when you feel that you've got a purpose, to me, it feels like your soul feels like it wants to make a difference and it wants to make a change and it wants to bring good to the world. And I really feel that you see this opportunity as a way to do that. And so there's no way I can sit here and tell you not to live your passion. I can't tell you to not do it. Um, do I wish that you would listen to mom and take better care of yourself? Yes. But, you know, try to find that balance, okay? I think it's really important. And try to watch what you're picking up, though. You're taking a lot on your plate. I know you're happy about what you're doing, but just try to... Try to find that balance just a little bit more. Can you can you just can you try it for us? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Remember when you just you talked about the eagles in the beginning? Yes. 
Well, it can be a situation like the Eagles, but I got to get that winning part <laughs> because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is, you know, uh, just a few things. It took all of the Eagles to get there, not just one Eagle. Right. So it took a team to get there because you hit it. So uh, I just want to remind you, you're going to need a team and you're going to need hope and you're going to need that grit. It's the grit. It's the I'm not giving up. It's that inner Rocky all of us have. Right. So you find those things and I believe that you you can do it. Um, But again, really try to try that. I do really strongly feel that your system needs a little bit of rest. You, you're so stubborn. <laughs> I love your mom. I, just, I, I love your mom. I do. But the thing is, is I, I got to tell you, you're so loved. And, you know, and um, I just want you to kind of hold on to the faith because, you know, now you're making choices and these choices are coming from your heart. They're coming from the places you need. And I want you to really follow what you feel is best okay so i hope that helps you don't know how bad i needed this oh you're welcome you're welcome i'm glad you're welcome and kathy you have a beautiful night have a blessed night and cheer for the eagles on sunday (laughs) hey you're an angel you know that (laughs) thank you thank you kathy have a good night okay all kinds of love for maine uh love love to you thank you Bye-bye. All right, bye. Thank you. I wonder if I should make everyone say go Eagles before I take their call. <laughs> I have to force them to who you have to say you're with the Eagles. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, let us take we're rambling through. I told you I was going to try to powerhouse this for you guys. Um number 8, I think that's 303. Go for it. All right. Hello, this is Colby. Who is this? This is Kim. Hi, Kim. How you doing? Good, and you? I'm doing well. Actually, I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. What can I do for you tonight? Um, we're supposed to be taking a trip. I want to know if it's going to happen. A big trip. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, here's the thing, though. I'm going to say yes, and it feels like the trip is happening. Um, I want to be careful of somebody creating an excuse not to go or creating an excuse to postpone it because it feels like it absolutely can happen and it's supposed to happen. And I feel like if you let go and let it happen, it will be an amazing, an amazing trip, okay? Um, But I do see water, so I know you're crossing water. You, You must be going to another country. Are you going to another country? Italy. Oh, good. Right. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. And so I do feel like this is, I I feel like you'll have an amazing time, but what's the, who's creating an excuse? Can I ask? There's some excuse that's happening. I don't know what that is or like a postponement. Who's doing that? My, my husband. You tell him to knock it off. (laughs) Yeah. He, it feels like (laughs) I, well, here's the thing. It feels like this trip is supposed to happen. Okay. Um, you know, obviously he needs to take care of himself, but I feel like this trip will be a, like a once in a lifetime experience. It feels like it will be really beautiful and amazing. Um, and it feels like he can do it. Is there, a, I mean, is the illness serious that he feels like he can't, or is it just more he's being a man with a, a flu and a bellyache? Well, it's a hernia, and we're not sure about if he's going to have surgery before or if he can make it till after the trip. <laughs> so, okay, well, it kind of, can be kind of dangerous. Yeah, um, I, it. You know, right? I can't make that call. Right? That's uh, you know, he's going to have yeah. to listen to the doctors on it. But I will share with you. I see it happening. I feel like it's supposed to happen, and I feel like the, the, the two of you. It just feels so. Um, so unbelievable like it feels truly a once in a lifetime experience so i do feel like you guys can manifest this when it's supposed to happen the here and now um okay so this year oh yeah it feels like it's this year yeah it definitely feels like it's this year yeah absolutely 
So I, I think he can do it. I don't. I mean, like I said, you have to listen to the guy. <laughs> he'll, he'll be like, "You don't understand, <laughs> Colbs." Um, but it actually feels like it goes well. He feels like he's okay. I'm. I, you know, I want to give that encouragement. Um, but yeah, you. I, it feels like you have an amazing time. I definitely feel like you go because I keep seeing water. I keep seeing um, uh, lots of, you know, you'll have to watch the walking. I don't think he'll be able to walk a whole lot, but that's like, it doesn't matter. Like, you don't have to see everything. It, it really is about being there and saying yes to the opportunity. Yeah. And you can drink wine. Just drink okay. lots of wine. It will be the most amazing trip Watch ever. It. <laughs> lots. Ignore it all. Ignore it. Just wine. <laughs> pasta and wine. You got this. It's like it'd be the best experience <laughs> ever. <laughs> I'm um, ready. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. I, I will say, it. you know, I will say, um, do everything in your power to manifest this, you know, really work on this because it, it just feels like the two of you really need this break. Honestly, it just feels like it's been a rough couple of years and it just feels like this is really what the two of you truly deserve. And it's so easy to, um, put things like this on the back burner, but it, it, I'm just going to say really work hard to, um, make this happen. Okay. I will if, do that. If he doesn't go, you can get me a ticket. I love wine. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right. You have a you have a good night and, and lots of healing and blessings to your husband, okay? All right. Great. Thank uh, you. You are so welcome. Have a good night. Uh, oh, you too. <laughs> okay. Let us see. Uh, let us. Boy, there's a lot. How about uh, 210, number 19? Okay. Hello, 210. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi. Hi. Good evening, Colby. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Thank you. Oh, what's your name? My name's Astrid. I huh. spoke with you a while back before. Okay, Astrid. Hi. What can yeah. I do for you tonight? I have questions. I battle an autoimmune disease, sadly. Mm -hmm. And I have questions about if you see me going back to Chicago anytime soon to get the transplant I need to put my um, multiple sclerosis in remission. Oh, I see. Well, my goodness, I'm getting a lot of health stuff tonight. Um, Astrid, I'm just going to remind you, not a doctor, right? Can't diagnose. Definitely. Um, lots of love, though, to you. I am. Yes. I, and I, I, I just, you know, do you want to know everything? Oh, everything. Lay it on me. Okay. I, I don't feel that... I mean, I'm not sure when you were planning on going to Chicago, but it definitely yeah. doesn't feel as soon as you want. It it feels like, right. I don't know if you're just lower on this list or they're trying to say it's not as urgent, but for me, it feels like there's, uh, I see you lower on the list. So do you know if you're lower on the list of uh, the, the procedure? What it is, is we're, mili we're military and military insurance is fighting us to cover this procedure because I I've been to Chicago already and got accepted into this doctor's uh, okay. trial. So okay. So I'm fighting right now to get it handled. All right. Well, here's the thing. Um, at the end of the day, your health has to be your first and foremost priority and concern, right? Right. Um, right. I believe, honestly, I believe that if you make noise around this, I actually believe mm -hmm. that the government will. Uh, submit like so I think you got it just due to the urgency because I feel like there's a time issue I feel like it, it's yeah um, we, we have an urgency around it right so right. what I want you to do is make some noise of getting some some publicity or PR around the situation because it feels like right. bringing that awareness is will will hap let it happen quicker for you I definitely have <laughs> oh, I good. Have, uh, a lot of uh, awareness pages. And good. I'm also uh, option is to sell funds, so we're fundraising. But good. I, um, I, I have a lawyer working on my case. I'm hoping it, it goes through. Yeah, I feel like it will. Um, my my feeling okay. is that it will, but my feeling is the timing is not. We we, right. we need this timing to happen quicker. So I would right. recommend uh, getting it to like news agency, television, like get it reported right. more because I feel like 
that getting it out there that way just feels like that really helps. We definitely have been trying to get through to the media, that's for sure. Good. I'm glad. See, good. So your instincts about what to do are right on, okay? So, you you know, you're already taking all the steps you can. Um, Like Mm -hmm. I told the other caller, though, be more aggressive about this. Um, Okay. Yeah, be more aggressive about this because, again, I just feel like you, you can make this happen quicker I feel like they will do it, but they are just dragging their feet. Like, I feel like if you let the, this go just through the court system, this is going to take forever. Right. So I feel like right. you got to kind of stir it up, stir that pot up even some more, okay? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I'm sending you lots of, I'm, I'm sending you so much love and, again, healing. I, you know, there's just a lot. Um, but, again, as we talked about, you know, this is where your grit comes in. This is where your hope comes in, okay? So I want right. you to I want you to get your inner Rocky, your inner ego on, and, and make some louder noise. Really, oh, you can do this. To. I've been trying, definitely. Okay. Uh, okay. The energy setting. Before you disconnect, the last time we spoke, you told me that uh, my dad's dad was excited that he was coming to see me. We found him at his cemetery, and we had closure, so I just want to thank you for that. Oh, what? oh yes, yes. Oh, I just got chills. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. That's an emotional moment. We took a lot of pictures, and that was his first time seeing his dad. <laughs> how beautiful so, is that? How yeah. amazing. And how amazing that, you know, his dad had that message, right? He had a huge one, and we got to him, and husband found him, and oh, there he was. Look, so. Oh, my goodness. How uh, – thank you, Asher, thank you so much for sharing that with me and, and the listeners. I, I just had to. I've been talking about it and trying to get through to tell you so I give that validation. Absolutely on point. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. And, again, uh, lots of healing to you, and have a beautiful night, okay? You too. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Oh, I remember that. I don't remember all of it, but we were talking about the military, blah, blah, blah. And oh, my goodness, how incredible. I love spirit. I had this uh, uh, session the other day. And I love, again, I'm always a big fan of when the person's in front of me and they can say yes, 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 yes. And then they have a couple, I don't know, no, I don't know. And I'll be like, you got to go ask your mom or you got to go ask someone because this is what that spirit is giving me. And I'd tell them, listen, if that, you know, if you get that, you know, send me an email because I like to know, you know. And and so I had this lady and I was talking about um that in the lady's passing that there was a rose like a rose that was significant and I said and she's also talking about the rosary beads that she really appreciated the rosary beads and she's saying no I don't think she had any I don't think she had any and I said tell ask your mom you please ask your mom because so she sent me an email I'll I'll get chills because I just love me some spirit her mom for the grandmother um gave her a rose right before she passed away, gave her a rose. And when they were burying her, the other sisters uh, put rosary beads in her in the coffin because they wanted her to have rosary beads. And I was like, oh, see? Spirit does talk to us. (laughs) So I thought I'd share that with you guys because, you know, it's when we do this work, it's pieces. Um, you hear a lot of mediums say, oh, they talk to me the same as I'm talking to you right now. And I'm going to, I don't think so, actually. And um, I really feel like it's a little different. And I just want to explain to you. See, in the lights, just see, I got acknowledgement. Did you see the lights flash? Um, because what happens is the way the spirit communicates, they'll flash a picture or they'll give some words, they'll give us some feelings, um, a sensation or a quick smell. Those are like pieces to a puzzle, right? And so it's the medium's job to put that together. What are they saying? How do we interpret it? And then it feels then like a fluid conversation. But I got to tell you, in no way, shape or form is it exactly how I'm talking to you because otherwise I'd say, oh, what's your name? What's your birthday? How many kids do you have? What's the last four of your social? Like that would be amazing. But for me, it doesn't work that way. It's like, oh, they're giving me this impression or this feeling or showing me a piece of something that I have to put together. And it's fun. It's always kind of really experienced and beautiful and fun. Um, But I just I don't know. I want to share 
kind of share. That's how I work. How about another uh, caller? I'm not done yet. We are cranking through them. How about, um, let us see. I think there's a, um, a 310 at the bottom. Let's see. Go to the bottom. No, oh, you should have hung in there, 310. I just saw you a minute ago. Um, how about uh, number 3949? Okay, 949. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi, Colby. This is Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you tonight? I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. What can I do for you, honey? Um, so I wanted to see if um, uh, you uh, see someone that from the other side that has that is with me. I'm currently going through you know a little bit of a hard moment, and I just wanted to make sure that someone's with me because I definitely feel alone right now during these times. Yes, honey. I, I will tell you the minute that I picked up the call, there was a woman in spirit for you. Okay, so I do want to okay. give you the feeling of a woman, and this definitely gives me the feeling of mother. Um, or a connection like a mother to you. So would your mother be in spirit, Elizabeth? No, but I have someone that's passed that is a, like a, mother. a mother figure. Yeah, you, oh, I appreciate yeah. that because she felt like, it just felt very strongly like, um, and she's one of those nurturing moms. She's one of those talking moms. So I feel like she, you know, you have these long conversations and lots of advice. Like she feels uh, very open, very nurturing. Do you know what I'm saying? And yes, I do. She, yeah, she gives me this feeling too of not really, um, she's not very vain. You know what I mean? I feel like she's very relaxed, very comfortable, making everybody feel super important. Anybody that walked in her front door, she's like offering them some food, making them sit down, really, really welcoming them to her home. Do you know what I'm saying? Makes sense? Yes. And I just feel yes. like there's a sense, too, where she shows me, um, this is odd. I, you know, I don't know. Elizabeth, would you understand, I don't know this, uh, would you understand a blanket connected to her? <laughs> yes. Oh, my yes, God. Do, do you? Okay. That is, she just showed me a blanket, and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay. every time she was cold, I'd make. I knew oh. she was coming. You know, I was going to see her. I had a blanket ready for oh, her. Oh, thank you, because I just feel like she. So it feels like she wants to sit on the couch with you, have the blanket over your laps, and have a little chit chat. Okay, and I do okay. feel like she's giving this strong feeling that you're not alone. Okay, now it's interesting. I just talked about the rosary beads with that client but she's showing me a cross so would you understand a cross connected to this lady this mom in in spirit a connection to cross yes we we would pray okay um, she she was a, a patient of mine and, and we before her treatment we'd we'd pray together i have to tell you i feel like she's giving you that message like so maybe look to god or to ask god for guidance you know maybe you've been okay. reaching out and asking but i feels like maybe you're not it feels like you're questioning your, not your faith, but you're maybe just, it just feels like you're doing yeah. a lot of questioning. And I feel like she's trying to tell you, yeah. have faith, have faith in God. Right. And I do, yeah. I do get this. I tell you, she shows me this smile. Um, she'd always smile when she saw you, no matter how bad yeah. she was feeling, she always gave you a smile. Um, uh, what is she saying? Um, oh, I don't know. She just had a nickname for you. Can I ask you if she was Hispanic, Elizabeth? She wasn't, but for a very long time, I thought she was. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Cause she, she, she was very feisty. Yeah, thank you. Okay, because, okay, I, I just feel like she gives me this. I, I just feel like she gives me this reassurance for you, um, letting yep. you know to trust, letting you know it's going to work out. There's also this feeling of like your heart being broken or, or your sadness coming from your heart. And I feel like she just wants to mend your heart, you know. So yeah. I, I want you to have faith and, and belief. And, um, and I do feel like she's letting you know that she's all around you. Okay. Um, 
right. I will just acknowledge to the gentleman in spirit as well. He doesn't feel connected to her. He feels connected to you. And I do feel like uh -huh. he just wants to let you know that he's with you. And again, it's that father feeling to me because he feels like he just wants to hold your hand and, and give you a kiss on the cheek. Okay. So would, okay. would you understand the man in spirit that is the father? Yes. Okay. Uh my uncle. Okay, like a dad, though, because, again, you know, yes. he's giving me this feeling of holding your hand, giving you support, and giving you the kiss on the cheek, right? And yes, yes. That's he's him. giving me a, a feeling. Uh, did he have a heart issue, Elizabeth, or something going on um, in the chest area? Yes. Okay. I just, yes, he did. Okay. See, I just get this feeling where he wants to let you um, – uh, hang on. He's doing something. Hang on. He was making a joke. Okay, that's fine. He's kind of cute, so he wants to lighten it up. So I feel like he would try to lighten things up. And I do feel like he... Was he a smoker, can I ask, Elizabeth? Do you remember him smoking? Yes, he was. Okay, because I feel like... I don't know. He's letting me know somehow this smoking contributed to his health, which most of us wouldn't know anyway. But he just says, ah, oh, right. should have been. But he just feels like a... He just feels like he loved life, and he feels like he was just a kind of go-with-the-flow kind of guy around it. <laughs> he was, and, and, and unfortunately it was a sudden passing because he uh, was in his truck and fell asleep in his truck, and, you know, we found him, they found him deceased that morning. I just feel like um, it is, it is, but it does feel... Um, peaceful like it doesn't feel like a struggle to me it doesn't he doesn't okay. it feels very quick to me um, almost like a heart attack so you don't know if he had a heart attack exactly or I, 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 I was like 11 and no one really you know come from a Hispanic family no one really talked about what exactly happened oh, but listen. now me being in the medical field I yeah. believe that it was heart issues and he was a smoker and yeah. it was quick and you know, yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's I mean that's certainly what I'm hearing that's certainly what I'm getting and let me just tell you you don't have to be a Hispanic for your family not to talk about death because my family didn't either and I'm Catholic and white <laughs> <laughs> My mom, my mom, my mom would, I would scare the bejesus out of my mom when I would talk about spirits. She'd be like, what? Who? Right. Oh. Am I <laughs> right. Yeah. And it's kind of just looked down upon, like, don't ask, you know, they're gone and let it be. And I, and I had questions when he passed. I was little and he, and he was like a father figure to me and nobody wanted to talk to about, about it or, you know, about his passing. And yeah. I was always left with all these questions. Well, I, I get the feeling that a, obviously he's okay. Um, obviously, you know, he, He's at peace, right? I do feel like it's yeah. reassurance to you. Um, and it's also, I like that he kissed you on the cheek and, and let you know that he's around too, because I'm not sure if you were hoping he'd step forward, but it's kind of fun yeah, that he did. Oh, see? And, and I just feel like, um, I just feel like, uh, you know, you, you do have the other side with you. And I know, I, also, I want to take a moment, Elizabeth, and, you know, I my my uh, father passed away a couple weeks ago, and I had to go to hospice and was around. And I I want to thank you so much for being in the medical field and doing the work you do because I really got to see how selfless uh, nurses, practitioners, anyone who's working around patients, you guys out there, it is so selfless. The, the you know they're dealing with people like me that are anxious, upset. Uh, they're dealing with all these emotions. They're dealing with dying patients left and right, uh, trying to bring peace. And so I really want to thank you. I know it's heavy what you do. I know that you know, and I want you to, um, I want you to just know that that you mean something and that people like me are so grateful, so grateful that people like you serve, serve out there. Okay. Thank you, Colby. You know, it, 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 sometimes I question myself, you know, can I take one more heartbreak, one, you know, one more loss and, and thank you so much because that really does mean a lot. And I'm so sorry for the passing of your father and my thoughts are prayers with you, but thank you very much. Thank you. And just now I'll leave you with this. When you ask, when you ask, can I take one more heartbreak? You absolutely can because you are serving spirit. You are serving God. You are serving the universe. You are serving people. And our ability to love and continue to love even through sadness and grief is so resilient. So I want you to know that you're stronger than you think. 
and you you can do this and don't don't harden and don't put up a wall um around it because you you are creating healing and love with each person that you take care of thank you colby you're welcome appreciate it thank you you. i love you so much love you too and you have a beautiful night thank you colby thank you Mm, bye-bye uh i will tell you uh, for anyone out there you know i it's it's difficult you know it's like uh they they take a lot of um judgment they take a lot of abuse (laughs) um and then they they still keep coming back it's beautiful i i got to see some of the most amazing amazing um health care providers i believe it was at ventura um maybe someone from south jersey can post it my family it starts with a v vittura ventura the but they, they were amazing there. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So uh, definitely want to thank them. Okay, let us do another call. Uh, how about um, 805, number 21? Is that 805 or 803? 21. Oh, 23. <laughs> and I have, I, and I have my contacts in. Hello, uh, this is I Colby. Tell you, uh, for oh. anyone out there, no, they don't know. Hello, this is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. There you go. Hi, honey. How are you? Uh oh, did you? Is she gone? Okay, Debbie? Hi, Debbie. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. You, you have to mute. You have me on speaker or something, honey. You have to mute it if we got to do the call. Okay, gotcha. Oh, so much can better. Can you hear me okay? Yes, now I can, Yay. honey. Hi, what can I do for you tonight? I'm just open to anything. Oh. That'd be easy. oh, that is easy. Okay. Um, let me see. I feel like let's talk about career a little bit for you. That sound good for you? I feel like let's do it. Okay. I do feel like there's uh I feel like you're okay in career, but you're you're looking to expand or there's like another route that you're taking, right? So have you been thinking yes. about kind of maybe going off the beaten path with your regular job and going into a different area because I keep feeling like to tell you yes that this is going to be good but it's like an off bend so it's got to be something that is definitely a little different than what you've been doing you know I am in that direction it is something different that I'm normally used to doing um you are right yes okay it it feels like this feels really good and I do feel like um I'm going to ask you what it's going to be doing because I feel like you're either be consulting or working with people, but I see you definitely helping people or working with people in this new business. So what is it that you want to be doing? Um, I do Reiki energy work. Perfect. Good. So, so I, I was, okay. So is that what you were playing? Oh, sorry. So that's what you do, but is that the direction you're going in? Um, I, I do feel very torn. I do also do mediumship work as okay, well. Okay, got it. So, so I'm torn between mediumship that's it. and messy yeah. work. I want to tell you, mm-hmm. it doesn't feel to me that you, you're trying to feel like you have to choose. I'm hearing, Debbie, that, mm-hmm. you, you know, I'm hearing, because I can't, I said the consulting and I said working with people, right? So I mm-hmm. do feel yes. like you're going to be working with people. So I do feel like this level of consulting in the mediumship is absolutely a part of your path. Mm-hmm. But let go of this idea okay. that I have to do one or the other. Just know that you can blend them. You. Just know that you're allowed to do both. With the mediumship, I do feel like you got to build your confidence in it because it feels like yes. you have it but you're not trusting your link you're not trusting your connection enough so I feel mm-hmm. like you're more getting your t- like dipping your toe in the water but you're not fully trusting and diving in so you know sometimes yeah I think you got to do sometimes training helps that like you know maybe it's a, taking a class or it's something a workshop but just something to build that confidence um but mm-hmm. I want you to trust it because I definitely felt like the Reiki is good and I don't feel like you have to leave it. But I kind of saw that off curve and I, you know, and I felt that consulting and I felt that helping people. I think you just have to understand that, you know, a lot of things about mediumship, I will tell you the one big thing about it because it's not so concrete, right? And a lot of times we say, yeah. I don't need to do it or why am I doing it or, oh my goodness. Um, but yet you feel this kind of burden or this calling to do it right and I think the most important thing about mediumship is it's not about you it is about the healing yeah. it is about 
it is about that spirit connecting Definitely. with that sitter and when you put your focus there and your energy there, which you definitely know how to harness, you, you're really going to find so much more joy in it. And just work past that fear that, that is slowing you down in, in embracing that path, okay? I, I already, thank you. I already thank feel you like so people much. are asking you and calling you to do it. Like, I feel like it comes up in the Reiki. I feel like it's there. So yeah. I, yeah, so I feel like when you... I think I just feel like with some training, you'll be able to ha kind of figure out how to control it a little better and, and harness it a mm -hmm. little better. And then I feel like it, it's going to get so much stronger. Like, I feel like it, it's going to even get so much stronger, but you, you'll you enjoy it. But um, but I don't see thank you leaving you. Reiki 100 percent. OK. I thank you. You are so welcome. Your love is needed out there. <laughs> Yay! You're awesome. Thank you. All thank right. You. Have a. I and oh. I know, I know you're an Eagle fan, so I'll let you uh, cheer your Eagles on. Thank on you. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Have a good night. I'm gonna make everyone out there an Eagles fan. Fly, Eagles, fly. All right. We will take one more caller. I have like a minute, you guys. That's it. So if you are the next one to get in, um, just ask me a question that I can answer. Uh, it will have to be more psychic just based on the time, okay? So if you can do that for me, lots of love to you. Let us go with how about number... You pick, Tony. 22. Okay, 22. Okay. What number? Area code? 484. 484. This is Colby. Who is this? Hi, Colby. This is Bonnie. How are you? I'm good, Bonnie. How are you? I'm good. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you, but I'm going to give you one minute because didn't you call in last week too? Okay. I, um, I did. Okay. Um, yes, I did. Okay. So what can I answer for you? Um, just trying to figure out a direction for my job. Well, I feel like you got to start taking the steps forward to put yourself out there. I do feel like there's a sense of working with your hands. Um, it's really hard, too, because you, you're really good at organizing. So you, you could do the office thing, but it doesn't really feel like you're going to enjoy that very much. I, I do feel like... Um, you know, I do feel like working with your hands, making things... Um, cooking, things like that. I, I really do feel like you would enjoy it more. So are there any opportunities that you've looked into, even if it's working in a cafeteria or uh, catering or something like that or restaurant, just because I, I just think you would enjoy yeah, it Yeah, I work more. in a restaurant now. Oh, you do? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, maybe it's a chance to change that restaurant, more catering or more of a business. Like a I do feel like you got to kind of up your ante here. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Um, okay. But I don't think you're going to be happy in an office, Bonnie. I really don't. It does not. I feel like you sitting at a chair, you're going to, uh, and, and it, looking at four walls, it just does not feel like your system's going to like that. You're going to need more creativity. Nope, and I more, won't. Yeah, you need more creativity. Maybe even something, too, where it's more baking or, uh, because I keep seeing cakes. So look at something. Um, huh? Something with cakes or weddings or there's something more where it's not like a, a skillet, a, you know, not like a diner with a skillet. OK. OK, gotcha. Does that help? That does help. Are okay. the Eagles going to win? They uh, they better win. They better win. I've been blasting okay. them all night. I've been promoting them, talking about their story. They better they better not embarrass me. I'm going to be very upset. They won't. No, they won't. No, they can't embarrass us because they've gotten this far when everyone thought they weren't going to make it, right? That's right. Yeah, so I, I am I am definitely putting my mojo and energy into the Eagles for this one for sure. <laughs> awesome. Sounds yeah. Good. I want you to really start putting yourself out there, though, for the job. I feel like there's a job opportunity coming up, but you, it feels like you have to put yourself out there to, to kind of pull it in, okay? Sounds good. All right. I will try. All right. I'm glad you got through. Have a good night. Thank you, too. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. That I mean, we had a lot of calls in, though. We did pretty good tonight. And uh, I want to thank you guys. Um, 
for listening, for tuning in, for all of you who took a moment to share this. Thank you, thank you. And when you leave comments, it really means a lot to me. So um, we all got to get out there and share the love. And, you know, if you like my Facebook page, so the Colby Rebel with the black jacket, if you like that page, uh, that also helps. And you will see when I'm posting stuff so that when I have these readings and all, you'll, you'll get kind of more notice with them but i do want to thank everyone and i want you to have a beautiful night and let's all uh go eagles on sunday all right good night everybody sometimes i feel like a star but only strictly where i'm famous I'm in this foot along this hall, like we'll see where it takes us. I'm throwing back these double shots like whiskey here is weightless. Cause, cause this career I chose was even riskier than Vegas, yo.